teaching us for such a time as this. Jesus told them in Mark 8 and 34, come after me. He said, come after me. He gives a command to come after me, to deny thyself, wow. take up the cross, and follow him. Wow. First, we have to have a mindset to come. Wow. In the midst of someone calling you, you have to have the mindset to respond. Wow. I need you to understand that he's already called. And in the midst of him calling, there has to be a response on our end. Wow. <laughs> the only way that we first are going to respond is through denying. Why? Because it's calling us out of our comfort zone. God never calls you in a place where you're comfortable. Mm. He always pulls you out of the comfort zone to do the work that he has for you to do. Wow. Wow. Amen. Wow. You have to bring forth some exercise. Yeah. Because it says, take up <laughs> the cross. He didn't say drag the cross. <laughs> he didn't say hang the cross. He didn't say wear the cross. All right now, come on. He Yes. Wow. Not men. Mm -hmm. Not tradition. Wow. Yes. Wow. Not family. Not wow. friends. Wow. He said me. Wow. Now the question is, who is he talking to? Wow. When he says, come and follow me. Wow. Because you know, every day, even though they make a call in the courtroom, everybody that they call this, they're waiting to be called. But they don't call everybody at the same time. Wow. <laughs> it's associated to the case yes. that's coming forth. Yes. Wow. And because you've been summoned, you've got a subpoena, you're going to sit there. You're going to stay close. Wow. Even if you go to the restroom, you're going to tell someone else to listen for your name. Wow. Because you know if you miss the call, Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> if you miss the cup, the chances are you're not going to make it back home. Wow. All right. Wow. Jesus. All right. Come on. Wow. Come on. Who is he calling? Wow. I named off some scriptures. And I you know, went back and I got the reading. I was like, okay, Lord. Okay. When it came to Jesus, he stood in Luke chapter 4, 18, and he began to bring forth what he was called for, his purpose. It gave also revelation to the fact of manifestation of a prophecy that had went forth before in Isaiah 61 and 1. Wow. And there was a call that was made. Now, you just going to have to bear with me. Because I need you to know yes. who we call. Wow. I said I was the deputy, right? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I need you to listen yes. for your name. Wow. All right, man. Amen. <laughs> he was called to preach the gospel wow. to the poor. Wow. Any poor people in the house? <laughs> Say, 
Wow. That some came forth wow. and used it with as a bruise. There's some type of blood. Wow. This that. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. Amen. 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 Thank you. You know, it was funny because when I was reading it this, reading this, I was like, okay. Well, Jesus, reading the, the King James Version in Luke 4 and 18, that's Jesus talking. Then when I looked at Isaiah 61 and 1, it said, instead of saying the poor, it said to the meek. Wow. <laughs> I was like, okay. Still talking to the broken hearted. Because see, a lot of times some people might say, well, we just deal with the Old Testament. Wow. I, I, I don't accept Jesus, so I'm just going to deal with the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. But he was called even over here. Yes. And it says that he was called to the meek. Wow. He was called to them. But yet he's calling us. Yes. Yes. Wow. To the brokenhearted. To the captives. It says opening up prisons to them bound. Wow. And I kept on reading and God spoke something in my spirit coming out of Joel chapter 2 and 28. It says he will pour out his spirit yes. on all flesh. Well, well. So who is he calling? Yes, yes, come that, on. Have I reached your name yet? Come on. And if I, I overlooked you with a broken heart and being broke and, and, and being poor and being meek, surely you deal with the flesh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> 